Okay, um, we left off, in the last video, we learned how to animate um, changes of different CSS properties. Okay, and now let's take a look here at something that's probably more common and perhaps a little bit more useful. Um, so here we can see this animate method. Now let's try this one. Um, let's grab... Uh, now, okay, let's just grab the red box. Uh, red box. Now we're going to do CSS. Okay, so we are going to modify some CSS properties. So now this one, the syntax is a little different than with animate, okay? You can see in animate, it looks almost like the way we type it into our CSS file, where we have these, uh, um, the brackets there um, like this, um, right? It, it, it looks almost exactly the same. And then we have a colon Okay, and here we also have a colon. Um, well, this is the way we do it when we use the CSS uh, method. Okay, we'll take the the we'll take, for example, uh, border width. Okay, and it's in quotation marks there. You can remember that, comma, and then we'll do. Um, well, let's just go ten pixels. Okay, so here you might notice that, all right, border, I've used shorthand. I've used shorthand. Um, and uh, here, basic, here it says expand CSS shorthand properties. All right, so here you can see uh, border top width. Uh, border right width, but we can also just say, all right, see all of this now it's been expanded, okay? And you can see what the border color red, okay? But we can just say border width and it will apply to all of them, okay? This one will apply to all of them, but be very careful you get the names right. Um, and I recommend looking at code that's already out there that already works because sometimes there are a few cases, a few limited cases, where the way you refer to a property in CSS will be different than the way you refer to it in jQuery. Usually not, okay, very, very rarely. But just keep that in mind, it's kind of a gotcha there. Um, okay, so let's refresh it. Oh, and see, look at that. So there's 10 pixels, the border width went to 10 pixels. Um, so what else could we do? Well, let's grab the red box again. Okay, so we're going to modify a CSS property. Um, how about background color? Okay, and let's set that to green. Okay, so let's refresh the page, and sure enough, okay. All right, so this is very common to use this, this particular method, the dot CSS, and then we'll use this method, okay. All right, now in the next video, we're going to go into using a method. Here we've used um, CSS.CSS. Next we're going to try, we're going to use .attr for attribute. That stands for attribute. Okay, now you guys know, you can see here, for example, um, one attribute, all right, let's say we have an image source and Okay. 
Well, okay, so at any rate, here's the source of an image, right? And so this source is an attribute, okay? This here, this is an attribute. So in the next video, we are going to go into modifying attributes, okay? And this can be a really fun thing. It can be very useful.